Hi there. I wanted to put this message right where I knew you would see it. I just want to let you know there's two different specials happening that may help you with guidance and work on your cause. There's an $11 email one question reading, which is usually complete in about one hour. You'll have your one question answer, so I need your correct email. There's also a five question reading on anything at all. It could be multiple topics. That five question reading is only $50 right now. The information is below, okay? Enjoy the rest of your read. Hi there, welcome back. This is for Friday, June 12th. Okay, and I, yeah, I think I've got the, <laughs> I think I've got the days of the week numbered, right? So yes, I'm back. This is another daily read. Yes, I'm in the same clothes. I'm picking up the energy kind of in a downloaded stream for the days of the week. So I'm getting the messages all in and I'm giving the readings to you. So I'm working with my guide team to help. I'm using the Hoodoo Tarot. The energy is wonderful, powerful. Um, I hope that this gives you uh, some guidance, some clarity, you know, to see past some of the issues. Because right now, a lot of people were just seeing trouble, 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 you know, and that's not the whole part of this. So um, this is going to be your message for Friday, June 12th. I love you, soul family. Okay, so here we go. Let's see. I hope the camera's not too crooked. There's a lot of sun coming in, so I can't see the entire camera. Mother, Father, God, bless it all. Friday, June 12th, for the viewers, help them to see what it is they need to see. Help with clarity and messages. Thank you. Okay, so let's see here. Ten of Swords. Six of Swords. Wow, okay. Hang on one second, my beautiful soul family, because I think there's a message here of someone experiencing a lot of trauma, and they've been kind of like stabbed in the back, okay? And what's happening here is you discovering your gifts to still succeed and to have wisdom and power over a situation. Uh, the Ten of Knives, this is like so much trauma and you feel like you've been stabbed in the back by someone, by a lot of emotional and mental stress that's going on as well. But what's happening is the end of something that was really too much for you to take and you had to let it go, okay? Because mentally, this Ten of Swords energy is the final one. It's like the final chapter of anxiety, the final chapter of insomnia, of worrying about something over and over. Some of you are worried about debt. I'm actually hearing spirits say you're going to climb over this debt. Okay, that's a huge message. You're going to climb over the debt. Six of sticks. This is the six of wands. You're going to be successful and victorious over this challenge. Okay, you're going to be recognized and rewarded. I feel like you're going to handle this with a high degree of skill, but you need your ancestors, your guides, your spirit team around you. You need to use the resources around you and people who you know are going to help you. This is John Horse. This is the emperor, okay? So it could be a fire sign, an Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius that helps you through and helps you to become victorious. You're gonna have to use passion, creativity, maybe some new ideas that you weren't thinking of to overcome this hurdle, okay? I'm also hearing spirits say it's been a long mile. It's been a long mile. So for some of you, this is like gonna be joyful. It's gonna be tearful. You're going to just really know and feel that this finally is over and that you're becoming more victorious and successful. Wow. Here we have the big house again. <laughs> the tower again, right? That card has been coming up almost every single day of this week. The daughter of coins. Dim bones. Okay. So there may be something being revealed to you. It may be something crossing you up that you weren't aware of. It may be a secret coming out. Okay, so we have the tower. Page of coins, knight of coins. Okay. 
okay yeah this here what i'm seeing that this struggle is about for some of you and you ready to jump out of this because the literally your foundation is gone it's been shaken right the tower so it's some kind of release. It's time for you to let go of something, even if it was something that may be about money. So it could be that some of you are keeping secrets about money. It could be a loan out there that you didn't want others to know about. Look, three cars just fell, okay? Yeah, there is something going on where someone... <clears throat> Someone is a player in this. They're a player in this game and the truth is coming out. The player in this game, they have caused you a lot of emotional strife and strife and stress. And guess what? This person is holding secrets. Okay? If it's not you holding secrets to different parts of your life and really locking up on your throat chakra, when people mention this name or they mention certain things that happen, you lock up, you're still trying to bury this and keep it a secret, that's affecting you. Spirit wants you to go with the truth. This Ace of Knives is about clarity, divine timing, and the truth. So what's happening, this tower moment you're having where the floor drops, it's going to be a secret revealed. And it could be something you've been holding in within yourself. It could be another person who you literally feel like they have bound you up and stabbed you in the back. But what's happening here is the cycle is ending, okay? So this could also be someone in your life who you thought was sweet, who you thought was there in your corner, who, who you thought would stand with you. This could be a love relationship. This could be a family member. This could be a friend. This could be a coworker who did something to you. It's going to be secrets coming out. This person has manipulated some sort of energy here. They've manipulated, they've told lies. And this person, you may have to watch them because they may want some of your victory, success, and your hard-earned money, okay? It could have to do with this payout here. With the daughter of coins, there could be an expected amount of income coming in. A bank drop that you're waiting on. Something, a loan that maybe they signed on. It's something going on where this person is somehow closely tied to you and you can't really trust this energy anymore, okay? I'm not gonna say you can't ever trust or talk to this person anymore, but definitely, yeah. They've remained quiet on some things that they've been doing here. You know what? I think what I'm gonna do is get a couple more cards just because it seems to be something really huge here. Is it a secret of their own? Is this other person really using them? What's going on here for Friday, June 12th? What's going on here? Yeah, this person, you may end up, and I'm just going to say, you may end up having to make payments to someone. This may be like you wanted money to drop or there's some kind of financial process going on. And this person may do things. This could be an attorney. They're going to do something. You may have to end up paying out. And it may be an agreement to pay out money, to pay out your energy, time, and attention. For some people, it could be like community service. But this is really long and intense here, this energy. So this is, this is something that's been going on for a while. And it has a huge, huge outcome. So for some of you, this may be more love related and a, and a betrayal. For some of you, this may be work related and a betrayal. For some of you, this could be, you know, finances. You know, someone who you're actually written into contract law. You know, time paid back, time served, money payments. But I do see ultimately here, you're going to be successful. Okay, so there's a couple different energies running through here. You all can comment and let me know what you think. But this is Friday, June 12th messages. Um, I need to also <laughs> get to Scorpio, right? With the with the other reads I was doing, the weekly reads for Scorpio, Sagittarius, Capricorn, Aquarius, and Pisces. Um, during the week, I am, you know, booked up with different things, you know, the orders, the root work so soaps, candles floor washes. Those are the things that I work on for, you know, for others and my clients in the highest good. So I'm sometimes busy with that, but I've never forgotten any of you. Okay. We're still together. 
and I'm giving you the best readings and messages coming through for you, okay? I'll talk to you all soon. Bye-bye.